morning class. This is the last day we're going to be talking about Abram, um, who turned into Abraham and his family and everything that happened to them. So I want to start at the beginning of our lessons about Abram and see if we remember the whole story. So if you remember, um, at the beginning, the story was called A Big Move. And this was Abram when he was a little boy. And his mom taught him all about loving God, even though the land that they lived in um, was full of people who didn't really believe in God. He grew up and he remembered to pray to God and worship God only. And one night, God talked to him and he said, hey, Abram, I want you to move to a new land. I want you to go where I tell you to. And when we get there, it'll be a great place. But they had to leave everything they knew, right? They didn't know who where they were going. They didn't know who was going to be there when they got there. They didn't know what it was going to look like. They didn't know, um, they didn't know anything. They just had to trust God. And so they said goodbye to their families and they gathered up their families, um, their immediate family and their animals and their servants. And they started walking and they started walking and started walking. And the whole time they had to trust God. That's what that first part of the story was about. The second part of the story was before they got there, they, every night, Abram reminded the people that it was so important to worship God. They would look out at this beautiful land that they were coming to, even though it wasn't the final destination yet, and they would worship God and thank him for keeping them safe on another day of journey. Thank you for bringing us to this new place. And every night they would get themselves ready, and Abram would build an altar, a place for the whole camp to come together to worship. And every night we learned about how important it is to worship God every day. And they finally got to the new land, right? And this story was called A Promise in the Stars. And Abram was becoming a very rich man. His cattle were having babies. His sheep were having babies. His camels were having babies. His goats were having babies. And his servants were even having babies. But he and his wife, Sarai, were not having a baby. And they were so sad. But God talked to him again and said, look up at the stars. However many stars you see, that's how many um, children and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren your family is going to have more than you can even count they were getting so so old they didn't know if it was ever going to happen Abraham got to be 90 or Abram got to be 99 years old and God reminded him I have not forgotten about that promise and in fact I want you and Sarai to change your names Abram I want you to be called Abraham and Sarai I want you to be called Sarah because those names were very important. Abraham meant that you were, he was going to be the father of many. And Sarai meant that she was going to be the grandmother of kings. And he even told them what to name their baby when they did have it. They wanted him to be named, or God wanted him to call them, call him Isaac. And then even though God promised him, he talked to them and he said, in this time next year, I promise you're going to have a baby. They're still not really believing. And so people came to visit them. And it turned out that they were angels. And they reminded Abram, Abraham of the promise that God had made to them. Sarah still thought it was so funny. She just laughed and laughed. She said, I can't have a baby. I'm 99 years old. I can't have a baby. But they remembered that just like when they left home at the beginning to go to the new land, they had to trust God and that he was going to take care of everything. And guess what? It turned out that she did get pregnant and have a baby. They were so thankful when baby Isaac was born, even though they were so old. Abraham was 100 years old, and Sarai was, was 99 when they had the baby. And they were so happy to have baby Isaac, and baby Isaac grew, and he was strong, and he wasn't a baby anymore. He just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and every day they thanked God for the wonderful gift of Isaac the wonderful gift that he had given to them and for keeping his promise to them that they would have a baby. So that is the whole story of Abraham and Sarah. We learned some good lessons from them about trusting God and about the importance of worshiping and being patient and thanking God when he gives us good things. Okay, let's do our calendar. We have a new month. Move my chair. Look up here, guys. This is a new month. Yesterday was the last day of April. So today is the start of a new month, the month of May. M-A-Y spells May. And today is gonna to be day number one. So I'm gonna turn around the first one. We don't really have to count very much because it's just a number one. And I slide it up to the day of the week and I see that it starts with an F. F says Friday. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then come Saturday. Yesterday was this day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. What comes after Thursday? What is today? Today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if today is Friday, what comes after Friday? What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome. All right. One more straw for today. Turn my six up here into the number seven. So I have one bundle of 100, 100, five bundles of 10, five, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, and seven more, 57, 157. I'm gonna turn over one more. This is how many days after today do we have? And today is day uh, is C in our alphabet countdown. And I want you to dress up in a costume for our meeting in just a little while. Um, it can, I, I said it was career day, so I want you to dress up like something you want to be when you grow up. But really, it's just kind of costume day. So if you want to wear a different kind of costume and it's not something which, that you want to be when you grow up, that's okay too. All right. Um, let us pray to start our day. Ready? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the sunshine and that it's Friday and that we get to have the weekend off to spend time with our families and not have to worry about our schoolwork. Thank you, Jesus, for the story of Abraham and Sarah and for their um, example of how to trust you and how to worship you and how to um, have faith and believe in your promises while we wait patiently. And um, also for the reminder that we need to thank you for all the good things we have in our lives. Thank you, God, for your love and your care and your protection. Thank you for each one of the boys and girls in my class. Thank you that they are getting so smart. Thank you that it is a new month and we have another fresh month of life. Thank you for um, today and just help us to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. We thank you for everything. And in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I'll see you a little bit later. Bye-bye.